Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the HTML basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the div tag. The div tag is probably the most important or in my opinion the tag that you will use the most in web development from the HTML point of view. It's so fundamental to web development it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The more advanced you get the more complex websites you use you will pretty much always be using div tags in some capacity. Div tags are block level elements. Uh, what that basically means, you can put div within a div within a div. Um, and a block level element will occupy the same width as its parent element. So you can't generally have multiple div tags on the same line in the same horizontal space. If you had a bit of CSS or some sort of JavaScript with some sort of CSS, then you can overwrite that. But generally without anything like that, it will just go to the next line. So let's just actually open up our web page. I'm gonna be using the HTML web page that we created in tutorial one. If you don't have it, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. So I'm just gonna open up my text editor open open that up what I'm going to do is going to remove hello world I'm going to add the div tag so it's just angle bracket div close angle bracket for slash div close angle bracket that is it so I'm just going to put hello world save that and I'm just going to run the index.html there you go we've got it I'm just going to right click inspect element there we have it we've got the div tag there what I'm just going to do is duplicate it control C control V control V again go back to sorry about that go to this page here and click refresh and there you go we've got two div tags even though in the text editor we've put it on the same line because the div tag occupies the same width as its parent element which in this case is the body tag it will be on the next line like I said you can override this with a bit of CSS and like I said this will probably be the most fundamental aspect in HTML development or HTML features that you will use this is the second tutorial just covering div tags Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, just feel free to message us. There'll be a link in the description to this source code. And thanks for watching.